Hi, sisters. Hi, sisters. All right, it's perhaps one of the biggest news stories of the year. Popeyes, they've dropped a chicken sandwich that has decimated the likes of Wendy's and KFC. It's now being compared to the reigning champ, good old Chick-fil-A. We, we work hard at getting people to come back. Now this story, it's unavoidable. There are videos of lineups at Popeyes that have gone viral. There are fights that have broken out. There are customers who are in disarray and employees who just can't keep up with the frantic workload. I mean, check out this picture that went viral as a meme. I feel bad for that lady. And other Popeyes employees, they can't even handle the pressure because people won't stop name calling them. It's horrible. Oh, 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 Somebody call me Mr. Slower. I'm not stupid, I heard. Now some have gone as far as to resell the sandwiches for those who want to try, you know, but don't want to wait in the line. Now the two fast food giants, they're taking shots at one another via billboards. Chick-fil-A, they've stated, FYI, we don't run out of chicken sandwiches. And Popeyes, they had, FYI, people need to eat on Sundays. This is actually starting to turn into War of the Worlds. It's crazy. You are not going to believe what I walk into the store to see. Take a look at that from another angle. 2019, you get multiple viewpoints. Now, of course, it hasn't all been negative. Now, there are those who have gotten their hands on both sandwiches and they filmed some of the most important videos of their careers. Now, in this video, I'll have reviews from two of my homies. I'm talking about good old Ding Drops and Report of the Week. Popeye's Chicken Sandwich versus Chick-fil-A Chicken Sandwich. A battle of the chicken sandwiches. This is this is the face-off of the century. I think I've picked two of the best food reviewers on the internet, and you guys are going to be surprised what these boys have to say. Now, I can't buy the burgers myself because I live in Canada. Canada? Wow. Now, here Popeyes, they do not yet sell the sandwiches. And our first Chick-fil-A ever, well, it's under construction. But it's probably for the best because, well, your boy's on a bit of a diet. I'm the thinnest chubby guy y'all know, so I'm going to go ahead and indulge in this, this deliciousness. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden back at you with an old classic versus video. Now I didn't plan on making this video but instead I just made a post on our community tab and we got over 5,000 likes with you guys asking for this video to be made. It actually turns out some of you guys actually work at Popeyes. The kid next door, he wrote, this is ridiculous. I work at Popeyes and I'd be making a thousand sandwiches a day. I need a huge break. So I just pray this hype calms down so I don't have to be working like a slave just for sandwiches. God bless that brave man or woman. Now we haven't done one of these in a while since our NLE Chopper versus NBA Youngboy. That was back in April. Now in that video, we ran a poll and near the end, you guys picked the winner, which was NBA Youngboy. Now we'll be doing the same today with this uh, fast food giants. You guys get to have your say in the end with a poll above my head. So let's jump into this versus video. And as we do here, we'll be breaking it down into three rounds. Round one. Fight. Now seeing as I'm the before they were famous guy, well we're gonna walk through a little origin story of both companies. Now Chick-fil-A, it got its start in the suburbs of Atlanta way back in 1946. Back then it was just a local eatery known as Dwarf House and its first patrons, they were workers from the Atlanta Ford Assembly Plant. Now the company's founder, S. Truett Cathy, well he was a Christian Baptist and the company, they stay true to his beliefs, closing its doors on Sundays, much to the dismay of many of their patrons. What the f Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna lose my sh The introduction of the pressure cooker in 1961, it sped up service, and the company took on the slogan, we didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. Now they also trademarked the new name, Chick-fil-A, and thus, a star was born. Hey. Huh? What? I just wanna take another look at you. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I found that clip, so perfect. Now in 1967, the franchise, it would grow inside shopping malls around Atlanta and finally get its own standalone location in 1986. Now today, the company, it operates more than 2,300 restaurants, primarily in the United States, with locations in 47 states and plans to have one in Hawaii, which will make it its like 48th state. Also, they're coming here to Toronto. Now, since 2010, Chick-fil-A, it has led the fast food industry in average sales per restaurant, despite being open only six days a week. Now, each location, it grosses an average of $4.8 million per restaurant, that was in 2016, and their company's total revenue, it exceeds 10.5 billion as of 2018. So I guess it just ain't the guests who are eating good. You're coming to us with your dollars. We appreciate that, and we're gonna serve you. 
Let's talk about Popeyes. Now Popeyes first got their start in 1972 out of the suburbs of New Orleans, Louisiana, then known as Chicken on the Run. Now they wanted to compete directly with KFC. Now sales were slow at the start until the founder, Al Copeland, well him and his crew, they decided to add some spices to appeal to local tastes. Now the company they found success and it was renamed Popeye's Famous Fried Chicken and they began franchising in 1976. In the 90s, the company filed for bankruptcy but has since found itself back on stable ground. As of 2018, Popeye's has over 3,000 restaurants worldwide and they last reported their total revenues back in 2013, which were 206 million, which you know, is a far cry from Chick-fil-A's billions. Plus, over the years, well, they've continued to make the news for running out of chicken. Take a look at this. Are you kidding me? Nope. I think that's bad, because I'm sure hungry. No chicken. No chicken? Uh, they just had a chicken. Another great clip. Now, this is a video from 2009. It went viral. It's from Rochester, New York. And Popeyes, they had to close their doors due to chicken shortages. No chicken? <laughs> the video cracks me up. I'm never coming back now. I'm serious. I'm done. But they gotta get their stuff together. You know, they put their advertisements on and then they don't don't show up for it. I'm more disappointed than angry. You know, we've been looking forward to this day. I'm more disappointed than angry. <laughs> now I gotta give Chick-fil-A the win here, so let's move on to round two. Round two, fight! All right, for round two, let's look at the memes. Now round one, it was a little historical, so let's move things into 2019 and make it hysterical. We're gonna talk about their social media game. Now Chick-fil-A, it's rocking 1.5 million Instagram followers and it's been nominated for awards like the Shorty Award for its social media presence. Amen to that. Now they're also really great at getting back to everyone via Twitter and IG. In fact, my editor Kevil, he hit them up with a tweet and they hit him right back. That's pretty cool. What are you doing? You need to come on! Just put a chicken in the box. Man, this ain't no five star restaurant. This is Popeye's picking up with your hand. Man, what are you doing? You cut. Over here, use the tongs and get out of here, you cut. Here. Now Popeye's Louisiana Chicken, they've only got 208,000 Instagram followers, but it's achieving Super Saiyan status right now, currently at the time of this recording. I'm fighting for my life! Yo, tell me! There's even videos of Quavo, he's selling them out of the back of his truck. You don't need the extra cash, he just thinks they're worth a thousand bucks bop. I heard y'all boy was looking for them, man, they sold out everywhere. <laughs> got them thing going, a thousand of chicken, a thousand of... Now Popeye's promotion of their new sandwich and the world comparing it to their rival, well it's apparently earned them at least $23 million and counting in free advertising dollars. So, you know, who's laughing now? Popeye's chicken is f***ing awesome. Popeye's is f***ing awesome. Where did I find all these chicken clips? Alright, for round two, I gotta give the W to Popeye's. Round three, fight! All right, for round three, we're gonna go to the experts. We're gonna get our food reviews from the food reviewers. Now, lots of videos have gone live with people comparing these two sandwiches, and lots of people have different opinions, but there are two men I trust more than the rest. Now, they're also friends of the show. I've actually done it before. They are famous on each of them. First up is a man who dresses to impress. I'm talking about good old report of the week. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the Popeye's chicken sandwich, too. I just so happen to think that, I think for the price, for the value, I think that the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich just tastes a little bit better, especially uh, price considered. But that doesn't mean that I think the Popeye sandwich is terrible. No, not at all. I think, you know what? Popeye's should give themselves a pat on the back. I love that dude. And he's got the whole Count Chocula vibe going on, but he owns it. Now, if you want his 10 out of 10 score, you'll have to watch his video. Now, as for the granddaddy of fast food reviews, we have the one and only Damn Damn Dame Drops. So let's hear what he had to say. Everybody knows that Chick-fil-A serves up a mean chicken sandwich. Facts. Popeye came and said, you know what? We could do you better. We'll see you on your pickles. We'll raise you that toasted buttery bread game. Extra soft. We already have the thick delicious chicken on deck for this thing thing. We'll blaze it with the mayo. What you talking about? And we're going to take it up another notch. Wrap our chicken sandwich up in the chicken diaper. You can't get a better food reviewer than that. Now he said it himself, Popeyes have taken things to a whole nother level. Now, uh, the reviews are mixed across the board. Some people are sticking with Chick-fil-A. Other people are saying Popeyes have reinvented the game. 
Now I need to hear from you guys, there is a poll above my head. Now I was actually in LA not long ago, like a month ago, and I got myself some Chick-fil-A, and it was heaven sent. For real, I feel like God's in that kitchen. So I can't imagine there actually being something better, but I'm excited to try this thing. Maybe I can order it on Amazon. Maybe it'll be in Canada by 2030. I, I can just hope for the best. That's why I need to hear from you guys in the comments, in the poll, and uh, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. My name is Michael Crud. Let us know if you like these versus videos because we can be making a lot more of them. I don't know why we put them on hold. They do pretty well usually. All right, I'll see you guys in another video.